I'm going to be talking about the moral ethics of Shiley Incorporated regarding the Bjork Shiley heart valves. I believe that Shiley was operating under ethical egoism, which is basically putting yourself above all else. They regard they seem to regard the benefits to themselves, i.e. profits, more than the benefits to others, which is kind of odd in this case because their product was designed to save lives. But after they knew there was a problem, they still marketed it anyway, and they kept selling it. The values of Shiley, in, in my opinion, was profit above all else. And other, other values are harder to come by. It's, it's harder to find what they actually did value. And it's easier in this case to identify those things that they did not value. For example, they didn't value integrity or honesty or responsibility, especially when dealing with the FDA or the public. So, valuing profits. Like I said before, they they kept selling the the their heart valves even after they knew that there was a problem. And even though they didn't know the root cause. So even if they even if they found fixes for it, they never really knew if they were actually fixing the actual problem. But they kept selling the valve. And even when the FDA didn't approve it, didn't approve one of their models for sale in the US, they still sold it in, in Europe. So they disregarded public safety and basically did what they had to to make a profit. Now for integrity, for not valuing integrity, honesty, and responsibility, there are a few, there are a few examples. First off, they, they convinced the FDA that the first failure was a fluke. And they, they did it in order to get their heart valves approved so that they could actually sell it in the U.S. It, in a lot of cases, that really wouldn't be a big deal. But they, the, the consequences of their heart valves failing could be fatal and were in a lot of cases. Uh, they also, after it was approved, they started making changes to their valve without telling the FDA. This shows a lack of integrity by because the, the FDA is supposed to be informed uh, of any changes that, that they make. The FDA approved a specific a specific product. If you start making changes, then there's there's the chance the FDA wouldn't approve it. So I, I understand why they did it, but that doesn't make it right. Um and they they didn't take responsibility for for their product effectively. Uh, they didn't inform they didn't inform the public of the full extent of the issue. Uh, recalls were shoddy at best, and it lasted seven years before they finally withdrew the product from the market. The result of this was that. They over, overall did not respect their customers' natural rights, specifically the right to life. I think every person has the right to not have their life taken from them through another's actions. And because of this, companies really shouldn't market products that would violate that right. 
Um, now, from a, from a libertarian standpoint, Shiley Inc. can they can market and sell whatever they want to. No one's forcing their customers to buy these valves. There are other heart valve, other artificial heart valves on the market that did just as well a job, and in a lot of cases, actually, probably did better. Uh, however. Charlie does have the moral responsibility to ensure that their product, which was meant to save lives, uh, doesn't actually cause more harm than good. So, do the rights of Shiley to really do whatever they want to take, take precedence over the rights of the consumer? And the answer is obviously no. The The right to life is paramount. And steps should have been taken by Shiley and the FDA. Even though the FDA lagged behind in a lot of things and didn't really have the teeth to do much about it. It is still their responsibility to ensure that these rights were not violated. And that people didn't die from Shiley's product. So what can we learn from this? From an engineering standpoint, we can learn we can learn that our products can have a real world impact, both positive and negative, um, to to your employer, to the public's trust in your product, and more most importantly on people's lives and. As engineers, we should take the steps necessary when we when we find a problem or we know of a problem to fix it and actually fix it correctly before it, our product causes harm to the public. And from a moral from a moral point of view, we should learn, even though it's painfully obvious that that a person's life should be valued really above all else. And that should be first and foremost in our minds. All right. Thank you.